from all these things. Take off your silver spurs and help me pass the time. And I will give to you all summer wine. Oh, summer wine. I just want to say that this is such an auspicious occasion. It's so wonderful to be here and I've always been so closely associated with Namaste America and Mr. Atul is right here. So, you have to come here in the frame. How are you? How are you? So wonderful. So wonderful to see you too. I was just talking about Namaste America and how wonderful it is. And thanks to Mr. Atul Nishar, we always get the opportunity. You know, I mean, America and India are two ends of the world, but he's one man who brings them together. And that's why we're here. Art and culture कितना फायदा होगा? Sorry? Art and culture के लिए कितना फायदा होगा? हमेशा फायदा होता है अगर you know दो इतने खूबसूरत और बेहतरीन nations एक साथ आते हैं and I feel like not just the nations but it's always about one sort of community to be able to get the right kind of people under one roof who will actually then be game changers whether it's art whether it's culture whether it's business or any sort of collaborations that need to happen and Mr. Atul is definitely one of them. Thank you. No, it's, uh, today we're holding the reception for the Consul General, uh, David Lance, who just recently joined the Consulate in Mumbai. And uh, he's, he's right here, David. Uh, and we are uh, very pleased to have Neha Dupia grace the occasion today.
मैं बस इतना कहना चाहूंगी कि हमारा नया सीजन अगले हफ्ते शुरू हो रहा है कभी मैंने इतनी जल्दी किया नहीं है लॉन्च जी हाँ शूट शुरू हो चुका है वील बी लॉन्चिंग वेरी सून एंड मोस्ट प्रॉब्ली विद स्टार हुई वन फेवरेट आपको दो दिन में पता चल जाएगा क्योंकि हम उसके साथ भी शूट करेंगे अभी तक सिर्फ एक ही रिकॉर्डिंग हुई है बट वी आर होपिंग फॉर अनादर सक्सेसफुल सीजन एंड नो फिट नहीं आए एक ऐसा शो है विच आई थिंक इज मोर देन ड्रिवन बाय द गेस्ट मोर देन ड्रिवन बाय द लिसनर्स मोर देन ड्रिवन बाय इवन मी आई फील लाइक दिस इज़ वन ऑफ my apart from everything else yeah. i do one of my main properties that i'm a part of which is driven by the media so aap ke haath mein hai to define whether it's going to be successful or not acha kya kuch changes hai is baar ki wahi same hoga uh no hum kabhi uh hum hamesha koshish karte hain ki alag guest lekar aaye aur पिछले तीन सीजन में हम 36 थर्टी सिक्स अलग गेस्ट लेकर आए हैं और इस बार भी हम बिल्कुल बेहतरीन अलग गेस्ट लेकर आएंगे दिस अ लॉट ऑफ फोकस ऑन द यंगर न्यूअर टैलेंट दैट्स कमिंग इन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रिवील टू मेनी ऑफ द नेम्स बट यूल यूल हियर वेरी वेरी सून इन द नेक्स्ट टू थ्री डेज इज टू हु फोकसिंग ऑन और हमेशा हम इंडियन सिनेमा से करीब रह कर पर बॉलीवुड एक्टर्स से थोड़ा सा दूर जाते हैं सो वी ऑल्सो ट्राई एंड इनकॉपरेट डायरेक्टर्स वी ऑल्सो ट्राई एंड इनकॉपरेट यू नो डिफरेंट लाइक म्यूजिशंस और इवन इफ इट मीन्स दैट एक्सपैंडिंग टू स्पोर्ट्स मैन हम हर साल ये करते हैं सो देर विल बी अ स्पोर्ट्स मैन देर विल बी अ डायरेक्टर देर विल बी यू नो अ म्यूजिशन एंड ऑल ऑफ देम विल बी माई फेवरेट्स थैंक यू वेरी मच Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I've gotten rid of my jet lag. Right? <laughs> no, we, I mean, we've thrown ourselves into the new travel. We've already done a lot of travel. We've uh, seen a lot of the bottle. Yes, no, I've gone there. So, yeah. Hi. Hello. 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 Hello.
Um, so I apologize for those of you who have already heard this story, um, but I think it's important for me to explain uh, the journey that took me to come to India this year. Um, when I served in Pakistan at the very beginning of my career, back in the early 1990s, uh, my wife and I did a lot of travel around South Asia. We went to Pakistan, all over Pakistan, the Maldives, Sri Lanka a couple of times. Um, and we didn't come to India because it seemed overwhelming. Uh, there were too many things we wanted to do, and I couldn't figure out how we could choose just one or two. Um, but we were coming towards the end of our tour. This was exactly 25 years ago. And we said to each other, how can we not go to India after being in South Asia for two years? Who knows when we're going to be back in South Asia? We can't miss this opportunity. So she and I took a very brief trip uh, to India, just five days, where we went to uh, Delhi, Agra, and Gwalior. Um, and in those five days, we absolutely fell in love with India. And from that moment, we said, not only do we need to come back, but we have to come back to live, because there would be no hope of us really being able to fully appreciate the incredible diversity of India if we didn't live here. So it took us 25 years to find our way back, um, but we finally did. And even in my wildest dreams, did I not think that what would bring us back here would be um, for the State Department to offer me to be able to come here as Consul General in Mumbai. Um, so this is really, for me, the opportunity of a lifetime. And not just coming to Mumbai, but coming to India during this moment in the bilateral relationship between India and uh, the United States. Uh, you asked me to briefly comment on the relationship. Um, I think uh, Howie Modi and the fact that President Trump went down to Houston, but not just that, there were dozens of other very prominent US politicians, of course, business leaders. Um, that event underscored the incredible blossoming of the US-India bilateral relationship. And so as was mentioned, I spent a year before I came to Mumbai uh, serving as Deputy Assistant Secretary for South Asia, which included India. And I got the incredible opportunity uh, to spend the last year before I came here uh, as the senior US government official working on bilateral US-India relationships. And for me, as somebody who is relatively new to India, um, it's just been an incredible story. And there are obviously going to be bumps in the road. Uh, no matter how close any two friends, partners, brothers, countries are, there are always going to be cer uh, just certain disputes. We still have disputes with Canada. We have disputes with the UK. We're going to have disputes with India. But the long-term trajectory of our relationship is clearly very positive. And I've said many times before, so again, apologize if any of you have heard this, but I feel very confident that when the history of the 21st century is written, the chapter on the U.S.-India relationship will be one of the most important chapters. And then just on a more personal note, uh, the only, the word that comes to mind when I think about the reception that Tali and I have received in Mumbai is warm. Everything has been incredibly warm. Everybody that we have met has been uh, has embraced us with open arms, uh, embraced the, us into their homes. Um, I, I have never been in any place in my life where I have felt such an instant affection for the place, but also felt so immediately at home uh, with uh, the family at the consulate and then with my broader family of friends here in India. And my wife and I, for the first time in almost 20 years, are abroad without our children because our second child started college. Uh, so our actual family is uh, split up across the ocean. Um, and so it's nice to have this broader extended family now in India to welcome us. My wife is a, is a foreign service officer as well. She works for the uh, US Agency for International Development. And she's telecommuting telecommuting from a job in Washington, so she works very odd hours, um, mostly uh, in the evenings So she, when she overlaps with Washington. So that's why she was unable to join us tonight, because she had back-to-back -back meetings from uh, 7 o'clock until midnight. Um, but she's very much with us in spirit. Um, and she would very much want me to say um, how incredibly excited we are to be here, how much we appreciate the incredible warmth, um, how much we're enjoying living in Mumbai, uh, being in India, um, and how excited we are to spend the next three years living here, working with all of you, and doing our part to promote this incredibly important bilateral relationship. So thank you again to Namaste America for hosting this reception. Thank you all very much for coming. Uh, I look forward to getting to know all of you, and I look forward to working with all of you and partnering in this incredible endeavor.
Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. It's just so wonderful to be here. Um, my association with uh, Namaste America goes back, uh, what, over 10 years now. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Nishar, for always thinking of me and making me a part of such uh, wonderful uh, events, and more importantly, a room full of such important people. And on their behalf and myself, David, we'd like to welcome you and uh, your wonderful wife, Tally, who's not here. Uh, I don't know how many times you've already heard this, but her, her name has many different meanings in <laughs> India. So one of them, uh, they're going to show you right now. Tally Batao. Yeah. <laughs> already have uh, glasses um, uh, in their hands, but you also say Tali Ho Jao, which is Tali Ho Jao, which also means you can get drunk, so cheers to that. Uh, but yeah, all in all, it's absolutely wonderful. We had a brief chat right when we were entering, and he's like, you know, my past six weeks have been absolutely wonderful, so much food and all of that. So the one thing that I'd like to tell you is that India is a nation which has, you know, you know, it's so vast and it has so many different options, whatever you like, language, people, music. Um, culture, art, even with food. So when you're done with the food, we also have lots of Ayurvedic spas you can go to for events. So yeah, that's that's good for you. We I'll hook you up with the detox as well. So uh, yeah, eat your heart out, laugh your heart out, uh, have a lot of fun. And uh, like I said, there's 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 so much to do in this country. Explore the country, but more importantly, the warmth that you receive from the people. I promise you, it's going to be second to none. So yeah, welcome and thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. Nishar, for having me here. Thank you.